Hey guys, Supingo says over here, and today I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you how to install Cyanogen Mod 11 on the HTC One M8. I have here the developer edition, but it should work for any variant of the HTC One M8. So just go ahead, I'll put the link down below where you can actually go ahead and download it. And as you can see here, it's Cyanogen Mod 11, the latest one. And um, so let's actually go ahead and go into their recovery. There's actually several ways you can actually go through Good Manager, or if you press the power button and the volume down key, it will take you to the to the recovery. So whichever way is fine. Just make sure you have Twerp or any custom recovery install, because if you have the regular one, it won't do it. And make sure that you're rooted, of course. So we're going into the recovery mode, and make sure I'll leave the links down below because you need the Google Apps, the G Apps package, and the actual ROM in order to do this. And before actually going to install this, go ahead and locate the file first before you actually delete the, cor the current ROM that you have in the system. So I put this in the internal storage in the downloads folder. So as you can see, we have it right there easy to actually just go back a few times and click the option that says wipe go and click advanced and you're gonna go ahead and clear the Dolby cache the cache the data and the system do not do internal storage or micro SD card because then you're gonna go ahead and delete everything of the phone and all the pictures and documents that you might have saved in the internal storage are gonna go away so make sure you don't click internal and micro SD card. So go ahead and swipe. And if it does that on your HTC one, just go ahead and do it again because sometimes it doesn't, you know, it's it's not functioning 100%. The version 2.702, so go ahead and do it one more time. The same options I told you, and it oh, should take you to that screen. So it's going to go ahead and do and tell you that it's successful go ahead and click complete and go back and then since we already found the file where we downloaded it just go ahead and click it and swipe to confirm and it's going to take around a minute two minutes depending on your phone but it should be rather quick and if it fails just go into recovery again and do the same steps that i've told you so far but on the first try it should be no problem and it might take a minute or two and it's gonna say successful so go ahead and do reboot system and this is the part that is gonna take the most time because remember the first boot is actually gonna take longer than the rest of the of the other boots boot ups anyways so as you can see it's moving fairly quick and it should be just a couple more more minutes and we should be ready to go and i'm very excited for the cyanogen mod team to actually go ahead and release this i was actually googling this for a few days ago to see when it was going to come out and then i googled it today and it was already out it came around last night or two days ago i'm not quite sure but man this is great a lot of um operating system custom roms are coming to the you know to light and this is very good because this is what i like doing installing different roms and see what they have so this will be the welcome to cyanogen mod uh, setup screen this is not the google app so you're gonna go ahead and you can just put your account if you have one with cyanogen mod if not just keep going with the settings and it's actually if you don't have them the if you don't download the google apps before when installing the rom you're gonna you can flash them later so there's no problem with that not like before that is going to get you in a brick mode in a soft brick so just keep going through the whole setup and you just download it through the browser and um, just google g app cyanogen mod 11 and the first link or two that will be the where they are at so as you can see the htc one m8 we are going to test the camera and see how that works you know i'm a big photography guy you can follow me on instagram snowman photo anyways 
as you can see everything's working properly and i am as i'm doing the voice over i am testing the phone and seeing that the wireless and everything everything works fine so this should be a good daily driver for most people um i'll keep testing it out and then probably do a review later but so far so good man and you should just have fun and if it's not working out just you know always have a backup and install your all the ROM and you should be to go good to go you can see here that we have the Android version 4.42 so it's the latest Android version and it's Cyanogen mod man they always be doing the uh, update so you'll be good to go with the 90s every day they'll be improving so there you go thank you for watching have a good one bye